Good morning, yogis. So excited for you to join me this morning in our flow at 6 a.m. Um, no need to grab any props or anything unless you like practicing with them. Go ahead and grab them. Um, we will get started here in just a moment. And I wanted to send you guys a friendly reminder that um, these are totally free classes, but um, we are making them donation-based. So if you can give anything at all, your donation goes such a long way. 100% um, of your donations go to um, all these teachers that um, you know are out of work. So um, anything you can give helps. Um, so let's get started here in just a moment. Um, just get yourself ready to flow. All right, see you guys on the mat. All right, good morning, beautiful yogis. Welcome to your 6 a.m. flow. My name is Jackie, and I'll be guiding you through your practice today. Um, no need to grab any props unless you guys really want them. Um, I don't think I'll be using any this morning. Um, but for today's flow, I just wanna kind of start our days on a loving, positive note. Um, I know the world can be a little chaotic right now, and. Um, can bring out stress and anxieties and depression. So in this next hour or so, can we practice with a, just a little bit of kindness towards ourselves and focusing on kindness and our breath. So we're gonna come down to a seat of your choosing whatever's comfortable to you. So I'm gonna come into a cross-legged position if you want to sit kneeling, go for it. Bring your hands on top of your thighs. Root your sits bones down into the mat to really ground yourself down. A little wiggle, wiggle of your toes to wake them up this morning. Allow some softness and heaviness to come into your thighs. Close your eyes. Then bring your attention to the base of your spine. And can you gently move your awareness up your back, growing just a little taller through the crown of your head? As you grow taller, can you grow more solid, engaging your core, pulling your belly button slightly to your spine? And a soft kiss of the shoulder blades together on your back to help open up through the collarbones. The softening in your shoulder heads as they fall heavy towards the earth, away from your ears. And a sense of ease and relaxation across your cheekbones, between your eyes, traveling all the way across your scalp as you find a sense of peace, of love towards yourself and this moment right here. 
this beautiful moment where life exists. This beautiful moment that may be so simple, but contains countless miracles if we just choose to see. So bring your awareness next to one of the most powerful miracles, your breath. Inhale deeply to expand your belly, your chest, your side bodies, your back body. And an audible sigh, let it all go. Another one of those, fill yourself all the way up with a fresh breath of air, fresh breath of life in. And then let something that isn't serving you go with your exhale. One more of those, inhale, fill up. Hold the mouth, sigh out. Then take one hand to your heart. Place the other hand on top of that hand. Sit up even taller, grow even firmer, rooting down. Maybe with another wiggle of your toes to wake them up if they fell back asleep. A sense of ease in your body and your mind, but also a sense of power, confidence, kindness. Breathe into your belly and lift your chest into your hands as you inhale. Breathe it out. And take this moment to say, good morning, self. Welcome to the day. I choose kindness today. Whatever the day brings. I deserve kindness. Peace and love. So let's take a deep breath in to acknowledge all of the above. Breathe in. Let it go. All right, let's get moving, yogis. Sweep your arms out towards the sides, up towards the sky. Inhale, gather all that energy. Exhale, seal it in at your heart. Bow your chin to your chest. Bowing to your practice, letting go of expectations, judgments, and labels. And as they will inevitably come in this practice, you can choose kindness and to let them go when you're ready. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky one more time. Gather up all that energy. Exhale, seal it in at your heart. Flutter your eyes open if they're not there already. Plant your left hand down outside your left hip. Sweep your right arm up and over towards the side. Root that right sits bone deep into the earth. And let's add some gentle spinal movement, closing your chest down towards the ground. And then spinning it back up, open towards the ceiling. Maybe take a couple rounds of those, any organic movement. Stretch towards the side of the room. And open up. Your next inhale takes your right hand up and over, planting on the ground. Left arm sweeps up and towards the right side of the room. And again, any organic movement, maybe closing your chest towards the ground, changing the stretch in your back, and then lifting it up towards the ceiling. Maybe a couple times or any other organic movement. And when you're ready, inhale, both arms reach up high. Exhale, hands come to your heart. Clasp your hands behind your back. Bring your palms to touch. And then send your knuckles down towards the ground, back behind you to help open up your chest. It's nice energy pulling into our bodies this morning. Loving, kind energy into our hearts. Maybe a soft smile in your face. If it's too early for a smile, I understand. <laughs> Let's take one more deep breath in, open through your heart. Exhale, slowly bend your elbows, release your hands back to your thighs. 
way we're going to come into a tabletop pose here. So spread your fingers really wide, bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we're just going to find a little bit of movement side to side, warming up those wrists, warming up the body. So these can be really big movements side to side, or maybe a little micro control movements. And then move front to back. Maybe shifting your weight way forward and then way back. When you come back, hips towards your heels, tent up on your fingertips, lift your palms, and then pull yourself back forward. Begin to take little body circles or continue shifting forward and back and side to side. Neutral tabletop when you're ready. As you inhale, drop your belly down towards the ground, tilt your tailbone up, gaze up, cow pose. Exhale, curl around, chin to chest, push the ground away, lengthen the back of your neck. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, curl around. A few more just like that or move organically. Inhale, belly drops, heart lifts. Exhale, push the ground away, chin to chest, tuck your tail. Inhale, belly drops, tailbone lifts. Exhale, curl it in. Bring it all together. Inhale, belly drops. Last one, cow pose. Exhale, curl and round. Neutral tabletop. Press into the top of your left foot. Extend your right leg back behind you. Flex your toes. Fire up your core here. Take a deep breath in. Stay for breath out. Shift the weight into your right hand, lift your left hand, reach it forward like you're shaking someone's hand. Breathe here. Option to bend that right knee, reach back with your left hand and maybe grab onto that right foot. If you have the grip, kick into your hand to help open your chest. Adding that balance challenge already this morning. One more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly release tabletop. Press into the top of the right foot, extend your left leg, flex your toes. Spread those fingers really wide. Inhale, grow the leg a little longer, firm your core up a little stronger. Exhale. Transfer a little bit of weight into that left hand. Reach your right hand forward, thumb up, pinky down. Take a deep breath in right here. Stay for an exhale. Option to bend that left knee. Reach back with your right hand, grab hold of the top of your foot, and then open up your chest. Kick into your hand if you have the grip. One more breath in. Exhale, slow release, tabletop. Bring your big toes to touch, knees out wide. Or if you're having some tightness in your low back, bring the knees together. Send your hips back towards your heels, and then walk your hands forward, melt your chest and your forehead and your forearms to the earth. Feeling really grounded, really rooted here. And then bring your attention back to the breath if it's traveled away. Inhaling deeply that 360 degree expansion. Exhale completely. If your wrists need a little bit of a break, flip your hands so your palms face the sky, bringing your pinkies together, and then opening up your hands like you're receiving a gift. And as cheesy as it may sound, can you give yourself the gift of kindness? It can be really difficult to find. So, Let's practice finding that compassion for ourselves, whether we meet our expectations or we don't. 
And let's take a deep breath in of love here, filling up our entire body with that miracle of life, of breath. And exhale to soften. Beautiful yogis, let's come back to that tabletop pose. And then a little heart opener before we move on. Keep your hips stacked over your knees. Puppy pose as you walk your hands forward and then bow towards the earth. Opening up through your heart, through your shoulders, through your wrists, through your um, armpits. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> and let's take one big breath in. Stay for a breath out. And come back to that tabletop. Tuck your toes and let's take a slow, mindful downward facing dog. Now this is definitely my first downward facing dog of the day, so I'm gonna start with really bent knees. Belly button towards your spine. Just push your hips to the back of the room and then find some ease in your neck as you shake your head yes, no, just let it dangle. And from here, maybe we can begin to pedal out our dog, straightening one leg and then the other. Just easing into our hamstrings, you know, sending kindness into those hamstrings. Kind to every piece of your body. And again, it might sound silly to be nice and compassionate towards your hamstrings, but if you're not kind to your hamstrings, who is going to be? <laughs> so just a couple breaths here to pedal it out or find stillness. You can even rock the hips a little side to side when you've straightened out your legs a little more. Just warming up the body here. All right, find stillness if you're not there already. Pull your shoulder heads up your back towards your tailbone, away from your ears. And take a big breath in and let it go. Look forward and let's tippy toe to the top of the mat. Engage your core. Use your core to step those toes mindfully, slowly up, eventually coming into a forward fold at the top of your mat. And bend your knees generously. Maybe create a shelf for your belly to softly relax onto. And then you can grab your opposite elbows for a moment and find a little sway side to side. Straightening out the opposite leg that you have twisted to. So if your arms are over to the left, your right leg straightens. Arms over to the right, your left leg straightens. Rebend the knees back to center. Bring your hands to your low back. Clasp your knuckles together and then send those knuckles up towards the sky. Palms pressed together. Shoulders pull away from your ears. Take one deep breath in here. Exhale, slowly release your hands to your low back and then to the earth. For this first halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, slide your hands up your legs to your shins or to your thighs. Breathe here for a few rounds. Navel towards your spine. Tailbone shines to the back of the room and your crown of your head shines to the front of the room. Almost imagine like a number seven shape in your body. Firm core. Pull the shoulder heads back. Open up your chest. One deep breath in here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute, arms up high. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, clasp your hands together, find a steeple grip. Inhale to shoot your energy up towards the sky. Exhale, tilt your body over to the right. Stay here for a couple breaths. Add more by bending your knees and bringing the left knee behind your right knee, and then adding a little curtsy stretch. One more breath in. Stay for a sigh of relief, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees back to center. Exhale, over to the left. And again, stay here or bend your knees, right knee behind your left knee. A little curtsy stretch. 
Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. One more round of breath in. And out. Bend your knees, inhale back to center. Arms up high, gaze up. Exhale, cactus your elbows, open your heart. Lift it towards the ceiling. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Land your hands, step back, high plank. Spread your fingers really wide. Earn your belly up towards your spine. Pull your muscles, hug them onto your bones, and then shift your weight forward. Take it really slow, elbows into your, to your ribs, lower all the way to your belly. Zip your legs together, press into the tops of your feet till your kneecaps lift. And then inhale, baby cobra, breathe. Try to draw the elbows towards your heels, open up through your collarbones. Take a big breath in here, get a little higher. Exhale, slowly release. Extend your left arm out to the side like a, like a wing. Tent up on your right fingertips and then roll over onto your, I'm oh, sorry, bring your left ear towards the ground and then roll over onto your left side body. From here to add more of a stretch, bend your right knee and plant it behind your left leg. Aiming for a nice stretch in our left shoulder, left, um, left pectoral muscle. And just breathe. One more round of breath. And roll back to center. Extend your right arm. If you've run out of room like I, I have, you can bend your hand like a goal post or bend your arm. Left fingertips tent up. Right cheek to the mat. Roll over onto your right side. And bend your left knee. Plant it behind your right leg to, for more. Oh, get some pops in here this morning. Waking up the body. And breathe here. One more inhalation, and an exhalation. Engage your belly to come back to center. Bring your forehead down to the mat, hand underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, inhale, high plank. Exhale, a downward facing dog. All right, let's really get moving here. Look forward to the top of your mat. Travel, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, Ardha. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, upward salute, Ardha Bahastasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach high. This time, exhale, just cactus your arms, open your heart. Inhale, arms extend up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, Ardha. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back, high plank. Feel free to take that baby cobra we did earlier or shift your weight forward, chaturanga. Flip to the tops of your feet, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Roll over, downward facing dog. Right, we're going to take a few of those Sun A variations at your own pace. I will guide you at my pace, but move with your breath. So let's prepare. Take a big breath in. Sigh out. Look forward. Inhale. Exhale. Travel to the top. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale to fold. In, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms extend up. Exhale, cactus, pull your hips forward, fire up your belly. Inhale, arms extend up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, flow your way. Step, float back. Downward facing dog is where we will meet. No right or wrong way to get there. Whatever serves you this morning. Back and down dog, just take one round of breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look forward. Inhale. Exhale, travel to the top. Forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms up. Exhale, hands at heart. Inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, cactus, open your heart lovingly towards the sky, towards the day. Arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. And then flow your way. Down dog is where we'll go. One round of breath in your down dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Beautiful yogis. Let's do one more sun A variation. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, cactus, open your heart. Inhale, extend arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, flow your way. We'll meet in downward facing dog. All right, yogis, back in down dog. Let's take a big, powerful breath in. And a loving, kind breath out. Your inhale sends your right heel up high, powerfully to the sky. Exhale to bend your knee and stack your hips open. Inhale, re-lengthen your leg. Exhale, knee slowly towards your nose. Shift your hips forward. Step it through between your hands. Warrior one, step the back foot in until it seals down onto the mat. And rise, Virabhadrasana one. Arms extend towards the sky. Zipper up through your front body. Tiny tuck of your tailbone. Try to pull that right glute towards the back of the room. Left hip rolls forward. And maybe your hamstrings are really tight like mine this morning and your, short, your stance is a little shorter than usual. Maybe your right knee isn't bent as much. Maybe you're really open this morning. Wherever you are, whether it meets your expectations or not, can you find kindness and peace with this moment? Because you're standing, you are here, you are alive, you're breathing, you may be seeing, you're hearing, choosing to move your way. Inhale to extend the energy up through those fingers a little taller. Exhale, hands to your heart. Powerfully drive that left heel into the mat. And then extend your hands behind you. Clasp your hands together. Palms touch. Send your knuckles towards the earth. Open up your chest. Take a big loving breath in. And then exhale to let something go. One more breath in. Exhale, humble warrior. Maybe bend a little deeper into that right knee. And then hinge your body forward. And you may rest your belly on top of your right thigh or go really deep and wiggle inside the right leg. Crown of your head may even touch the earth. And no need to go past your edge this morning. It is, um, you know, before 7 a.m. <laughs> One more breath in here. Exhale, slowly release your hands to your low back and then frame your right foot. Standing L, walk your hands forward, lift your back heel. 
and then lift those left toes any amount. Try to keep the hips in line. Instead of stacking them, we try to keep the left hip down in line with the right. And then option to add more by bringing your nose a little closer to your knee. Maybe in find a bind, right arm wraps around your right calf to pull yourself closer. Feel free to grab, a, um, move into a double bind, left hand or left arm wraps around your calf as well. One breath in wherever you are, explore. Exhale, unwind, left toes tap all the way to the back of the mat. Wiggle your right foot over to the right for a lizard variation. So hands are inside that right leg. Back leg can be lifted or lower it down. We will lower it down in a moment if you'd like, but if you want to go for it now, go for it. So breathe a little here and rock your weight forward and back. If you want a little bit of side to side or kind of move the hips around, just getting some nice feel good movement. Lower your back knee if you haven't done so already. Untuck your toes. Left hand down, inhale, right arm up. Stay right here or bring your right hand to the inside of your right knee and then lift the arch of your right foot up, kind of moving on to that pinky toe side of your right foot. Another just feel good stretch. And if you want to add a quad stretch here, shift your weights for your weights, your hips forward and down, bend your left knee and then grab for the top of that left foot, just like we did in tabletop. Just a tiny bit of a different shape, getting into different muscles. And slowly release. Tuck your back toes, lift your back leg. And then flow your way. Maybe that's a one-legged chaturanga. This morning, I am not feeling that, so I'm just going to flow with an up dog. But you do you. Whatever you do or don't do, it is enough. You are perfect as you are. Let's take a big loving breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, left leg powerfully sends up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips. Inhale, relengthen. Exhale, slow. Knee bends towards your nose, hips high. Step it through between your hands. Warrior one, when you're ready, rise. Back heel seals down. Plug that left glute back towards your right heel. And maybe bend a little deeper. And breathe here as you zipper up through your front body. Extend the energy up. Drive your left big toe down. Breathe in to extend your fingers taller. Stay for an exhale. Now bring your hands behind your back, clasp your hands together. Send your knuckles down, open up your heart. Lovingly opening yourself to whatever today brings, knowing that you are strong enough to handle whatever comes your way. Take a big breath in to acknowledge that, that strength, that power, that love. Exhale. Hinge forward to humble warrior. Maybe your belly rests onto your thigh or you wiggle yourself inside that left leg. Head can gently graze the earth. Palms to stay together. Plug that left glute back towards your right here. Heel still. One more breath in. Exhale, hands come down, low back, and then frame your left foot. Prepare for standing L, walk your hands forward, spike your back heel up, shift your weight forward, and then lift your right foot off the ground and you up. Nose towards your left knee, maybe bind, left arm wraps around your left calf, maybe right arm follows as well, maybe you take handstand hops, but lift that right heel a little higher, kick to the back of the room. One more deep breath in, stay for a breath out. Unwind, hands frame your foot. Slowly bend that left knee, tap your right toes to the back of the room, and wiggle that left foot outside your left hand. Lizard pose, back leg can stay lifted for this, or go ahead and lower it down. And then just organic movements. It might feel good to just chill still here, or kind of swirl the hips around, 
Stir the body around. And maybe just shift side to side and forward and back. And lower your knee if you haven't already. Untuck your toes. Right palm down. Inhale, left arm up. Stay for an exhale. If you want, bring your left hand to the inside of your left knee and then lift the inner part of your left foot up off the ground. Lean onto your pinky toe side of that left foot. You might feel good to just stay right here and breathe. We're going to add a quad stretch, bending your right knee, reaching back with your left foot and maybe grabbing that foot and pulling it in towards your body. This is also a great place for a strap or a um, actual yoga strap or a homemade strap, whatever that may be, a towel or a shirt. One more breath in here. Exhale to slowly release, unwind. Tuck your back toes, lift your back leg. Flow or not, also feel free to skip it. Downward facing dog is where we will meet. Grab some water if you'd like or chill in downward facing dog or child's pose. All right, so we're gonna take that flow and add on a little bit. So back and downward facing dog, let's take a powerful breath in and a cleansing soft breath out. Inhale, reach your right heel up. Exhale, bend to step. Inhale, re-lengthen. Exhale, slowly step it through between your hands. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, grow taller, firm your core up. Exhale, hands come clasp behind your back. Bring your knuckles together, palms to touch. Inhale, send your knuckles down, open your heart. Exhale, humble, hinge forward. Knuckles up high to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, lower to your low back and then frame your right foot. Go slower if you'd like or move faster. Walk your hands forward, bend into your right leg, spike your left heel high, standing L. Breathe in, fire up that lifted leg. Breathe out. Rebend that right knee, tap the left toes all the way back. Changing up the flow here. Spin your back heel down and rise, warrior two. Drive down through that pinky toe side of your left foot. Traction your right knee towards your middle toes. Make sure you can still see that big toe. And extend your arms powerfully back and forward. Straighten out your front leg. Send your hips back, so right hip underneath left, left rolls forward. Reach forward, Trico Nasana, tip top down. Hand can come inside or outside your right leg. Left arm stretches up towards the sky. Maybe your gaze follows that left hand. Or for your neck, it might feel better to look down. Micro bend in that stand in that front leg, the right leg. Breath in here. Exhale, re-bend, come up, warrior two. Star pose, straighten out your legs, toes out, heels in. Let's, let's kind of shake the hips side to side. Take yourself a little less seriously. You know, you have to, to love yourself, to, to let go of that hardened exterior that we sometimes have to build up, to, you know, hide away from vulnerability. But in that vulnerability, we're able to love ourselves. So just for these next handful of minutes, like drop that exterior, open up, be vulnerable to yourself. Give yourself the love you deserve, the attention. You know, you deserve to feel any emotions, any thoughts, any physical sensations that are coming. Let's take a big breath in, open up, side up. Deep breath in. Exhale, sink your hips down low. Goddess squat. Hold here for a few rounds of breath. And when I say you deserve to feel things, you know, you deserve to feel love and peace, but you also deserve to feel your feelings that are sometimes dark, sadness, anger. 
but you don't have to hang on to them. You know, feel them as they come, greet them, acknowledge them, love them, tend to them. And then when you are ready, let them go and you'll come out even stronger, even wiser. Try to draw those shoulders back to stack over your hips. Open up your chest and sink a little deeper. Inhale, power up really strong. Take up space, dark pose. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Spike your back heel up. Hands frame your foot. Flow your way, whether that's a one-legged chaturanga or maybe nothing at all. Downward facing dog is your only. Full body breath in. Cleansing breath out. Inhale, left leg spikes up. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips. Inhale, re-lengthen. Exhale, step it through between your hands. Warrior one, rise, inhale. Exhale, maybe bend a little deeper. Inhale, fingers grow taller. Exhale, hands to heart. Bring your hands behind your back, clasp your hands together. Knuckles down towards the ground. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, humble, hinge forward. Knuckles up towards the sky, breathe in. Exhale, hands come to your low back and then frame your left foot. Walk your hands forward, standing L, right heel lifts up. Nose towards your knee, breathe in. Stay for an exhale. Rebend that left knee. Tap your right toes back. Seal your back heel down. Open up warrior two. Fear of a draw some two. Drive down through that pinky toe side of your left foot. Feel power in your body, but softness and ease as you gently, lovingly look over your left fingertips. Straighten out your front leg. You may need to step up a little, but if not, keep your stance. Send your left hip to the back of the room, roll your right hip forward. Reach forward, tick-tock down, trikonasana your way. Try to roll the right ribs up towards the ceiling. An option to look up or look down, whatever serves you this morning. Engage your glutes, drive your toes down, and then lift the energy up. One more breath in. Exhale, warrior two, you bend your knee. Star pose, toes out, heel in, maybe a little wiggle of those hips. Open up through your chest, powerful breath in. Audible sigh, let it go. One more deep breath in. Exhale, gotta sink it low. Maybe a little sway, side to side. Eventually find stillness. Move your knees towards your pinky toes. Roll the shoulders back to stack on top of your hips. Breathe in. Exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale, power up star pose. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Frame your left foot. Flow your way or skip. Down dog is where we'll meet. Let's take a big breath in. And sigh it out. Look forward, travel to the top, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Sink your hips down, chair pose, Utkatasana. Fire up your core, fire up your legs. Open up your heart. Then bring the weight forward into, your toe, into the balls of your feet, lift your heels. Spike them a little higher, fire up your core. Sink down one inch. Keep your chest open, sink down one more inch. And then another. And then slowly another. Slowly, one inch at a time, eventually your glutes come to your heels. Move into boat pose. Grab to the back of your legs, or keep your hands reaching up. But wherever you are, keep your chest open, shoulder blades squeeze down your back together. Firm core, breathe in, breathe out. Three more, inhale. Calming exhale. One more of those, even slower, more calm inhale. Calm, soft exhale. 
slowly lower to low boat, hover your heels, hover your shoulders, then flutter your hands, flutter your feet for three, for two, for one, let it go. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then a little back massage as you rock your knees side to side. Draw little circles along the ceiling with those kneecaps. Switching direction as feels good. Feels awesome on my low back. And then plant your feet down onto the ground. Arms are come at your sides, palms press down, and then lift up to bridge pose. Option to walk your shoulder blades together, clasp your hands underneath you. We'll lift your glutes, pull them up and toward your face. Lift your chin out of your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep breathing. On your next exhale, release your hands and then slowly from the top of your back, one vertebrae at a time, lower yourself down. Belly button in towards your spine. Eventually, your glutes come down. Extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Flex and point your toes. Roll out your ankle. Then right ankle top crosses on top of your left thigh. Send your right knee forward. For more sensation, lift your left leg up off the ground and pull it in towards your chest for a reclined half pigeon. And just breathe here. Observing the sensations in your outer right hip. If they begin to get too overwhelming, back off. If you need more, maybe you squeeze in a little deeper on your next exhale. Soften your shoulders down towards the earth. Send a little bit more ease to the back of your neck. Focus on your breath. And slowly lower your left foot down if it's not already. Cross your right thigh on top of your left thigh. Move your hips to the right and drop your knees to the left. Extend your arms like wings and eventually look over the right shoulder. If this is uncomfortable on your back, unwind your leg and bring the left knee underneath the right knee for support or any other supine variation. Invite a big, feel-good breath into that right side of your body. And let it go. Engage your core to come back to center. And we'll move to the other side. Right foot plants. Extend your left leg up. Flex, point, roll out the ankle. Left ankle on top of your right thigh. Send your left knee forward. If you want more, bring that knee in towards your chest and pull everything inward. Keep sending that left knee forward. And flex your left toes towards your knee. And again, soften your shoulders. Relax the sides of your neck. And soften your face. A sense of ease moving across your scalp. Down into your jaw as you release the bottom teeth away from your top teeth. And that feel good sensation of life in your outer left hip. Just aware of whatever arises in this moment. And slowly lower that right foot down. Cross your left thigh on top of your right. Or if you know this is, this is going to be too deep, unwind the legs. Move the hips over to the left. Knees over to the right, extend your arms like wings, and then gently look over your left shoulder. Any supine twist that's comfortable for your back today. Reconnect with your breath. Inhaling to that left rib cage. And sighing it out. 
slowly come back to center. Give your knees a squeeze. Move into a happy baby, reaching between your legs, grabbing for the pinky toe sides of your feet. Draw your knees down towards the earth. Try to flatten your low back down onto the mat and relax your shoulders once more. Breathe into those hip flexors. With each exhale, maybe you can get a little bit deeper. And then release your feet. Bring everything in together. Hug your knees into your chest, forehead towards your knees. Give yourself a big, big, big squeeze. Squeeze every fiber of your being, your toes, your nose. Squeeze it in, tight breath, deep inhale. Exhale, Shavasana, let it all go. Take up space wherever you are. Wiggles, so walk your shoulders down your back towards your heels. Open up your heart and then Take your arms far away from your body, palms facing up towards the sky. Or if that's uncomfortable or too vulnerable this morning, bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Make any adjustments you need to get comfortable. Close your eyes. Settle in. Let's all take a deep breath in together, fill up. Open mouth to side out. One more of those deep breath in, fill your entire body up. Audible sigh, let it go. And take these next few moments in Shavasana to observe, to continue observing, just like in the rest of the poses. This one has less physical distractions and can sometimes be more challenging mentally and emotionally. But through that challenge, you become stronger, wiser, and more importantly, more connected to that true deep self. That person that you are beneath the expectations, the labels, all the surface labor, surface level garbage. Who you are truly inside is beautiful, is amazing, powerful, and makes such an amazing difference in the world. So take just this next moment to reconnect back to that badass being that you are. And begin to bring your awareness back to your breath. Feeling the gentle rising of your belly as you fill it with air. And a soft release as you exhale. A little bit of gratitude as you choose to move parts of your body, maybe wiggling fingers and toes. Rolling out wrists and ankles, moving your head from one side, gently to the other. Stretch your arms overhead, point your toes forward, a big full body stretch. And take a big full breath in, and then let it all go. Make your way up into a seat to close out your practice. Just a nice, comfortable seat, maybe the same one that you, that you use to start your practice. Bring your palms together at your heart space. Lift your heart into your thumbs. Bow your chin into your chest. Bowing to your efforts in class today. Bowing to your efforts in life. And knowing that whatever the outcome is, that you are enough that your best is enough and that you are love and deserve love and to be loved. That 
all of you is beautiful, even the dark. Let's all take a deep breath in together to fill up. Open mouth to exhale. So not only the highest and brightest of me, but some of my dark things, my vulnerable things, the things that I don't think are enough, all of me bows to all of you, and all of me loves all parts of you. Namaste. Thank you so very much for practicing with me this morning, yogis. Um, I really hope you enjoyed yourself and maybe starting your day just with a tiny bit more love and kindness towards yourself that will eventually spread out to the rest of the world. Um, I watched a Brene Brown or listened to a Brene Brown con uh, podcast about how sometimes we view empathy as finite, but actually empathy grows. It's, it's infinite. You know, the more empathy you show to yourself, the more you actually have to share with the world. So I hope you gain just a little bit more empathy and love to yourself because you totally deserve it. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback of any kind, I would absolutely love to hear from you, like no matter what you have. Um, please reach out to me on my personal Instagram. Um, it's the girl with the carrot tattoo. My sleeves are rolled up. Girl with the carrot tattoo, not the dragon tattoo. Um, but again, thank you so very much, yogis. Um, I'd love to hear from you. But if not, have a beautiful, beautiful day um, and move with kindness. Mwah. Sending you my love.